well, I'm back to working on the lower control arms for the ball joint modification. And if you watch the other ones, um, it's one of those things where it almost has to be particular interest to you. Otherwise, uh, I'm not sure why you would, but anyway. Uh, if you remember right, what happened was is I had, I ended up cutting them too short on the previous arms. So then what I had to do was I had to take a couple of the new ones and cut them long. So I ended up cutting them in the middle here instead of cutting an inch out. That made the nose longer and I matched that with the other end um, to get it the right length. So now I'm taking the short nose with the longer tail and mating them together and like on this one it's 3 16 of an inch that I need to take off. A couple of them are an eighth inch, uh, one's a quarter, and then the new ones here uh, I will take that measurement and I will uh, cut the back here and then cut what I need off the front so that these should come out correct to start with because the challenge right now normally in my jig right here I have it in I clamp down the nose and the, and the rear half sticks out here as soon as I slice it I don't have any way to hold the rear okay so when I when I do this cut I have to cut the back cut first that drops off and then I cut the whatever's left off well I don't have any way to hold the end now to cut it and it has to sit up on here to be straight up and down to get cut and I only have like a quarter inch on this one and an eighth of an inch on the other eighth of an inch is extremely hard when you got a blade a sixteenth of an inch wide that's going to be nearly impossible to try to shave that off uh, I could try to scribe a line on it an eighth of an inch and hit it on the grinder but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it here on the manual mill and I think if we're careful I think uh, I think it'll work out so this is how I have it set up now basically I just held it down on this edge and, and cranked the the vise down tight it is hitting back here it is hitting in the front it squished a little bit maybe I'm not quite sure it had to at least a little I'm I'm just gonna take it a little slow and easy and we'll see if uh, we can uh, trim off the eighth of an inch that it needs taken off I sighted it down here and it looks to be pretty straight up and down uh, and I did run it back and forth and it looks to be pretty even this way as well so Oh, that's 12 and 3 quarters right on the money. That's two, so let's do the other two. And because it's at an angle there, I'm using this edge of the uh, jig to prop it up on the angle there so that the two come in and mate and stay there. So that way I can take a measurement. Okay, so I put down 3 sixteenths, and it's just a little less than a quarter, but it's more than 3 sixteenths. Okay, so I'm going to go 220 
Well, I'm kind of conflicted exactly how much further it goes, so I figured while it's clamped in here, put the pin in. I backed it away far enough to clear the steering stop there. And I should be able to hold that up against there. Oh, and I am on 12 and 3 quarters exactly. I was going to go another 20 or 30 thou, but that's perfect right there. So, I'm glad I checked. Uh, it's definitely sagging in the back. That looks a little better. The arm is sitting in the vise this way. So, check because cutting at an angle like that took more off this end so it averaged a sixteenth of an inch instead of simply the thirty thou. Uh, so now I can just take off another sixteenth of an inch. So yep, basically another sixty thousandths. Interesting. Checking it this way. Oh, that is an eighth of an inch, man. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, needs to be an eighth of an inch. My sloppy writing made it look kind of like a four. On the, on the first one I wrote the eight, I did two circles. That'll teach me. Eighth of an inch, you dumb shit. <laughs> 